first things first, ignore this mess. Please. Welcome to our vlog channel! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, our vlog channel. Um, if you guys saw our last video, it was Sid giving a little life update and talking about, you know, some topics that you guys might just ask from her. I thought it'd be cool to do my own one just because obviously mainly and most of the time we are together, but some of you probably prefer her to me. Some of you might prefer me to her. I don't know if that's the case, but anyway, <laughs> we are very similar, but we also have very different things going on in our lives. She spoke about how she did the marathon and also some other little updates that you guys might be interested in. I guess we can do these like every so often on our channel if you guys want to see them, just to like have a little one-on-one -on -one time. Not that we obviously don't like chatting together, but like I say, some things that she speaks about, I might not relate to. And some things I speak about, she might not relate to. But it still might be, like, nice for you guys to know about. What I thought I'd do is, like, basically sum up a few updates, life updates. And also, like, popular, popular questions that we get in our DMs. Me personally, because, like I've said, we get asked different things sometimes. I'm currently packing to go to Barcelona as we go tomorrow with a brand which is very exciting. Things like that are just like this is our first abroad press trip and I just never thought that this would like happen. Obviously we've been away with like Benefit, Misguided but that's all been in like London or Manchester which has obviously been like unreal but to actually be going to a different country and a place that I've never been to and since I've never been to it's just mad to us and we just feel so 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 grateful so yeah first things first is just thank you so much for the love at the moment we don't say it enough but I can't believe that this channel has got to over 50k and our main channel has got almost 200k and again to say that and to like think back out loud about that is just mad that's why the mess is a nightmare. That's a little life update as, you know, Sid and Elle. We have been non-stop busy creating so much content for you guys. Yeah, we've just been non-stop but obviously loving it. So probably a few topics that I get asked most about or just like asked advice on maybe or questions or comments even just about is, you know, body confidence and weight loss and it's one of those things that you know i've spoke about it. i did a whole video on how i lost my weight and i don't like to be one of those people that is like all the time like i've lost this and i've done that and i'm amazing and i did it da, 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 da. so i've kind of like touched on it like you know every so often and like i said i did that video but you guys just seem to love knowing everything about it, which is why these types of videos might be really helpful for you guys because it's like another in-depth thing, but then obviously some people don't really care, um, which is cool. If you don't care, then click off this video, go watch your other, ch other channel. So many people always ask me, you know, how did you lose weight and how, where did you get the motivation and I need help and you know, you look amazing, you've gone from blah, blah, blah to blah, blah, blah. I just want to, you know, make one thing really clear is that I've touched on it before, but probably not as much as I should, that Instagram is very perfect. I'm not going to post stuff when I don't feel good or when I've not just finished a gym workout. Like the stories that I post of me in the mirror with a sports bra on and leggings on after the ab workout, in good lighting, my abs look good. And that's why I'm posting it. But obviously I have days where I do feel horrible and I do feel chubby and I don't feel like I've got abs. And you know, that's normal. That is so normal to have. It's easy to forget that and that's why I've, you know, we try our best to to be that role model and be that 
real with you guys which is why i was gonna sit here and put makeup on but i was just like nah um you guys have seen me plenty of times is that even in focus because that's gonna bug me you guys have seen me plenty of times without makeup and this is you know my skin at the moment don't want to say it out loud but it's pretty good if i just jinxed that um and i'm proud of it so that's why i've not got makeup on today I'm back to body confidence it's it's something that grows with you as you get older i think and i've never been one to love my body but i've just started to like accept it and this is my body and this is what i can do for it and this is how i can better it and this is you know this is what i've got to work with obviously you can go watch my video where i talk in depth about how i lost my weight it was through slimming world and sid actually touched on the fact that she's been trying to do not lose loads of weight obviously i lost quite a lot of weight a few stone um and she definitely doesn't need to lose weight it's just more about the healthy lifestyle which is why i loved that type that method of losing weight because it's a natural healthy way and that is why i will recommend it to anyone you can't really go wrong with it i did that diet for a year and a half lost loads of weight and people ask me all the time if i still do it um my family do it so my mum and my sister do it pretty religiously they are still trying to shed a few pounds but they kind of go on and off it because it is that easy to do that so obviously i live at home with them and my dinners pretty much are slim well friendly and we've kind of adapted over the years to not eat certain things and cut certain things out and just avoid certain things but all in all, I don't really do Slim World anymore. I just, I feel like as I've got older, obviously three years ago, I was like 18, coming out of puberty or whatever, growing into my adult body. While I'm 22, I feel like my body's kind of, it's got used to what I can have and what I can't have. And I kind of created like my own perfect diet. And I don't like the word diet. But so yeah, I kind of, make my own rules and i know what i can eat to feel good and i know what i can avoid to feel horrible it doesn't mean that i don't ever you know relax and like say oh i can have that because that is more my lifestyle now i do like to work out a little bit more and then treat myself to a little bit of cake sometimes and that is just how i like to do it um obviously sid was training for the marathon and i did do like the odd train training with her we did do a half marathon which we trained for which was pretty much running once or twice a week and running really really helped um i feel like getting in the gym or doing any kind of exercise helps with your metabolism and your you know how hungry you are all the time because you don't go in the gym do an amazing workout come out and think i could really eat a fry up like you just i don't personally i kind of go in the gym feel good and then come out and i'm like right how can we feel even better you know how can i keep up feeling snatched like i just i don't want to just ruin it and throw it all away so that's when i kind of get in the mindset of everything like that and that is one way i keep motivated is by going to the gym being around people who are always active me and sid go together we've recently actually started a new personal training session once a week or twice a week which is with a guy called kezi or casey we'll link his instagram down below if you guys want to book in sessions with him i know he gets very busy and he does you know some celebrity training as well but if you could if you can get the chance to book in one session with him he is unreal he kind of just has like he thinks of things completely outside the box just for like things like that just make me feel so good and it's it's a lot of fun when you go with someone you don't really feel like you're working out that is kind of the whole weight loss subject that i get asked so much i can't tell you how many dms i must get a day about that and i think it is probably because i document going to the gym and me after a workout and some foods i eat and some people ask me for meal ideas things like that is really hard to kind of put into a category because obviously people eat different things some people are vegan some people are veggie but yeah i feel like at the moment i'm pretty content with my body obviously still going to pc sessions still eating good still eating clean but that doesn't mean that i'm like trying to get somewhere it just kind of means i'm maintaining slash toning and still trying to be better getting 
a dream body or a good body is always a process it's never something that you can just you know I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna be there and that will be it and I can just do whatever I want it's something that you have to keep up and unfortunately that is just the way of the world that is how the, my body works personally I have to work for it um, I know obviously some people don't lucky and I know obviously some people work really hard and still don't see results so it's just different for everyone but yeah it's a process definitely sometimes you have to look back and just see how far you've come that is my motivational speech for the day my next life update is if some of you guys follow our main channel and me on instagram you'll know that i was really ill really ill for like four or five days a couple of weeks ago i said that i'd explain it in a video if you watched our um getting ready and reacting to the met gala you would have noticed that half my face was a little bit swollen and that had gone right down that was basically back to normal um i might insert some pictures a little story was that i went to bed on friday night and i felt like a little bit tender around here like just a little bit like it was kind of achy around my ear and i didn't really think that much of it and then i went to bed and woke up in the morning and i had like a little lump and you can kind of see like where i've got my cheekbone it kind of stuck out like a tiny little bit i'll put a picture here of what it looked like you can barely see it but um yeah it was like really painful and my whole ear was throbbing so it was bank holiday weekend and i actually went to a and e because i didn't know what to do and it was hurting so much and i needed some kind of like medication it got checked out and my whole like throat was really swollen and she said it was a viral infection and she said just take nurofen and you know rest and just put like ice and heat on it and it will go down so basically that's what i did i went home i was starting to feel really sick and ill and just basically really sorry for myself because it was horrible like this whole side of my face i think it started to go from like all the way around here just started it was just felt so heavy and sore it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and obviously in our job and what we do we're always showing our faces and on camera and taking pictures and blah blah, blah. so obviously the first thing i was thinking was how am i gonna do work how am i going to do youtube how am i going to take pictures and blah, blah blah i wake up sunday and it's even worse it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and once it got to like out here it just started coming like it started going in but like down and i just looked chubby <laughs> and my chin was like massive i'll show you a picture as well if you look at one side it's like fairly slim i don't have the skinniest face but it's fairly slim and the other side was just like I can't even explain it it was huge so I went back to the doctors on the Tuesday and I actually had a swab test and they think it was mumps I haven't had the result back yet but when I put it on my Instagram what I had so many of you guys were DMing me saying I think it must have been mumps because apparently it's going around I still don't know what I had when I find out I'll let you guys know but Sid actually had a swollen gland like a few weeks before when we were on when we were on holiday and she got diagnosed it was tonsillitis if it was some kind of tonsillitis obviously that is so contagious so i would have caught it from her but yeah that is pretty much what happened to me when i was ill and that is why i couldn't film because it just looked so ugly but thank god my face went back to normal at some points i was thinking maybe i've just put on a bit of weight i'm one of those people that i never get ill so when i get ill i'm so ill so that was fun another thing that i get asked a lot <laughs> is my dating life i am a pretty private person probably more so now that i'm a public person if that know if that makes sense so i've never really liked people knowing my business just because i know that people have opinions on everything they're entitled to that which is why i kind of don't give them the option to have one and i've always been like that but the, the more that we put out of our lives and the more public we are the more i want to reserve that side of my life at the moment i am completely single i have you know dated over the past couple of years on youtube um, a few different people you guys might have caught on in some videos where i might have mentioned 
a few things but it's not been anything majorly serious if i got to that stage of someone where it was going to be you know really long term and i could put complete trust into someone then maybe i would consider putting them out publicly but definitely when i'm just seeing someone or dating someone i am not going to share that just because obviously i'm not with anyone now which means that the people that i've dated has ended and i know that as i'm guilty of it you become invested in people's lives and obviously you guys are to some degree invested in sid and my sid and my sid and i are our lives obviously we love that because it means that we get to share everything we get up to and we love sharing but as soon as you yeah put things out there people feel like they have the right to know everything about it what happened why did it end who did what camera just stopped where was i talking about how i'm single that is my reasons for you know putting that side of my life out there like i say obviously if i am in a long-term committed relationship then i probably will reconsider and put that online but it depends on the person i've you know seen people that are completely not interested in social media which personally i kind of like because it keeps it completely separate um if i dated someone that was a youtuber or i don't know then it's something that you know we'd have to cross that bridge when it comes to it but that is kind of why i don't really i haven't really spoken openly about it maybe i will speak you know story times on people that i've dated if you guys want to see <laughs> at the moment i think it's too um fresh <laughs> just to kind of like sum up this whole chatty video i just want to get the message across that number one the body whole like all the messages we get about you know Sid gets them as well i'm sure a lot of people get them that are on instagram in a bikini posing every day it's just one of those things i want to make really clear is is not it's not not real life because it is but it's definitely a glorified version which everything on instagram is everything on youtube is apart from when we are just sitting here like this talking to you guys which is why we wanted to do this on our channel and yeah i hope i've answered some of your guys' questions i hope this might have helped one of you maybe you know ended your worries of what i was up to um if you didn't care then thanks for watching anyway but i feel like it's been out of focus a lot i guess we can do like the odd life update every now and again when something happens or we need to address something or i end up with the love of my life and i need to let you everyone know that's pretty much my life update um i guess we can just turn on the camera when we do feel like speaking to you guys because i've said this before as well it's definitely a form of therapy for us just to talk even though right now i'm sitting in my room completely on my own talking to a camera i know that i am actually talking to loads of you guys um but yeah it's definitely such a nice feeling to get things speak them out in the open get them off my chest yeah it just feels really nice to chat to you guys like you're our friends and i hope you enjoyed this video like i say comment down below if there is anything else that you want me to speak about in the future if you want us to do these life updates more often i hope you're enjoying the vlog channel we're going to be doing some more chill content very soon sid is going to bali with dan her boyfriend who has been on our channel before so her vlogs will be up here pretty soon as well of that um i'm really jealous it's really rude I don't know what I'm going to be up to in those couple of weeks. She's away for 17 days and obviously we've pre-recorded for our main channel for that whole time. So I get two and a half weeks off as well because obviously when she's off, I'm off. When I'm off, she's off. We do everything together. If I get up to anything fun as well, I'm definitely going to be vlogging it and it will be up here as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our blog channel if you haven't. And also check out our main channel if you don't know who we are. We are Sid and L. I'm L. And yeah, we'll see you in our next video. Bye. <laughs>